Hi, I'm Rebecca Davis. I'm the archivist at the Limestone County Archives in Athens, Alabama, where we use Starter by Preservica to digitally preserve our records and make them accessible. And I'm going to take just a minute today to tell you how to get started from scratch with uploading your own collections into Starter by Preservica so you can have a very professional looking digital archives in a minute just as well. All right, let's get going. Now when you first register, you'll get a login password and a link, and so enter your email address and the password that's been given you, and this is what you'll see. Now you can start with dragging and dropping. If you minimize, let's say we want this picture. There we go. We dropped it in, and you can see that it's uploading, but not only that, if you click once it gets through uploading, you'll see over here where it's preserving. That's where Preservica is putting your file into the proper preservation format for long-term digital preservation. Now, once you have a couple of assets in there, it will look a little different as you start to upload. So you can click Add up there in the corner. Click Upload File. We'll add this video. And uh, you can also view it inside your own administrative portal and look at things, zoom in on them, that picture. You can also um, look at other different formats. For example, if you want to take a look at the video, once we've got it uploaded, there's, there it is. You can click to view and you can watch it and take a listen. Today, the likeness of Limestone County Circuit Judge James Edwin Horton Jr. stands guard over the Limestone County Courthouse. You can also listen to audio files that have been digitally preserved by viewing it on the public portal and then taking a listen. Let's listen to this podcast intro. Welcome to In the Stacks, a podcast created and produced by the Montgomery County Archives in Montgomery, Alabama. Now, if you see you don't have any thumbnail, if you right-click, you can change the thumbnail on that asset, choose your file. We're going to choose an American Archives Month logo that the Society of American Archivists has made available to use. Click Choose. It will upload your thumbnail. And now, don't you look so pretty? Okay, let's take a look behind the scenes, and you can see what Preservica is doing in the preservation history to put all of your files in the proper preservation format for long-term digital preservation, regardless of what it is, if it's a photo, video, audio, all of that. We'll talk in the next video more about metadata, but in the meantime, let's just do some basic metadata updates to make it where you can see what you have and your users can see what you have and how best to access your assets and your records. You can update the title, you can do it, put a basic description of your asset so that people can see at a glance what you've got. And we're going to do that with all of the assets that we have here on our website today. So once you're finished with the metadata, you can click on Home, and you can see that now everything has its title, easy to read, easy to find. And if you want to see what it looks like for the public, click here on this little graph icon. That takes you to your admin portal. You can see how much data you're using. You can access the resource library if you have questions, and you can click to view your public portal and take a look. Ta-da! Look at your beautiful, new, digitally preserved digital archives. Isn't it pretty? So there you go. That's all it takes to get started with your very first steps. And now you too can have your very own digital archives.